Was Winston Churchill, the renowned British Prime Minister, a hero or a villain? This provocative question sparks fiery debates even today. Churchill's legacy is one of contrasts, marked by inspirational leadership and strategic brilliance, but also marred by imperialist views and moral compromises. The polarity of opinions is as vast as the English Channel. As we delve into the life and times of Winston Churchill, we invite you to form your own opinion. First, let's explore Churchill's strengths, the characteristics that earned him admiration and respect. Winston Churchill was a beacon of inspiration. His wartime speeches were more than words. They were lifelines, keeping hope alive in the hearts of the British public during their darkest hours. His words became the embodiment of British resolve, boosting morale and national unity. In addition to his inspirational leadership, Churchill exhibited strategic brilliance. He was an early critic of Hitler's rise and fervently advocated for military preparedness. His foresight and strategic decisions played a significant role in the Allied victory in World War II, a testament to his political acumen. Then there's Churchill's tenacity and determination, qualities that defined him. His never-give-up attitude symbolized British resilience, particularly during testing times like the Blitz. His unwavering commitment to his country's defense became a beacon of hope for many. These strengths certainly paint a picture of a powerful and influential leader. But was there another side to Churchill? Now let's turn our attention to the controversies that surround Churchill's legacy. Churchill was a man of his time, and that time was the height of British imperialism. His views on race and empire, while commonplace then, are seen as deeply problematic today. For instance, his policies in India, where he prioritized British needs over those of the local population, resulted in a devastating famine in Bengal in 1943, causing millions of deaths. His belief in the superiority of the Anglo-Saxon race led to comments and actions that we'd unequivocally classify as racist today. Moreover, Churchill's strategic brilliance was not without its blunders. The Gallipoli campaign during the First World War, which Churchill championed as First Lord of the Admiralty, resulted in a disastrous defeat for the Allies and significant loss of life. Some of his military decisions during the Second World War, such as the bombing of Dresden, have also been criticized for their heavy civilian toll. And then there's the question of ruthlessness. Churchill was known for his ends justify the means approach to war. This led to morally questionable alliances like that with Stalin, a brutal dictator, in order to defeat the Axis powers. Furthermore, the bombing campaigns he approved often resulted in heavy civilian casualties. These flaws and controversies undeniably taint the image of Churchill as a flawless leader. So, was Churchill a hero or a villain? The verdict depends on what you prioritize. If you consider national survival during the turbulence of war as paramount, then Churchill's unwavering leadership, which kept Britain from succumbing to fascism, may paint him as a hero. However, if your benchmark is ethical leadership, inseparable from political success, then Churchill's record becomes somewhat tarnished. His deeply imperialist views caused immense suffering in places like India, and his strategic missteps, such as the Gallipoli campaign, are seen as military disasters. Remember, Churchill was a product of his era, and while we rightly judge his views by modern standards, this historical context offers nuance, not an excuse. His career spanned beyond just World War II, and many consider his pre-war decisions and some post-war policies as less successful. As we conclude, remember, history is often more nuanced than hero versus villain narratives. The legacy of Winston Churchill, like many historical figures, is complex and multifaceted. It is up to you to decide where you stand.